Hi guys, uh, what's up? Welcome to part like 17 I think Where instead of just simply riveting body on I decided to mold it which is a lot of work and a pain but I'm gonna have to keep going with it and uh, Start taking the screws out of the rear bumper and keep fiberglass and stuff and Right now just a little little update on my other projects like my bike uh, it's ready to go um, Everything's like perfect on it uh, Just waiting on the notary to open so I can go and register it and also the E92 I basically a couple days ago changed uh, Basically the whole front end suspension all the links all the struts uh, And basically waiting for an alignment. I'm gonna go get it aligned today and Yeah, so now back to this thing it's been like two weeks since I worked on it and last thing we did I fixed basically finished this bumper piece so now I'm just gonna send it it's actually really nice and sturdy so uh, now I have to make uh, the bottom plates and side plates over there wheels they're still for the front they're still not shipped I just messaged the seller and he didn't reply me yet on eBay but he said they were back ordered like for another month and a half last time I talked to him so hopefully they're gonna get shipped soon uh, yeah this side's done and after I put fiberglass on my other pieces I can start uh, start trying to bundle stuff because I've been just pushing it off because I I honestly hate bundle but that's what I got myself into so I'm just gonna keep going with it and now I'm gonna quick just uh, put car back in the air uh, I had to move it out of the garage because I had to work on other cars, but yeah, put it back in the air, uh, pull all the wheels off, and start working on it. So uh, it was a lot of sanding, crazy how much I actually had to sand, but basically they're pretty much perfect right now. And just look how good, how good it actually looks. This is nice and straight. This is all nice and straight. And I just can't get over how good it's gonna look when it sits in the car and you can actually see all this. But basically this little stuff, I'm just gonna bond over top. But right now I'm gonna put the bumper back on the car and find my uh, hole i'm gonna drill it through and either top it or drill it through and put a knot in, underneath i don't know yet but i'm dying to put it on the car and see how it actually looks so i'm gonna do that quick How good it looks uh, right now uh, the bumper is a little bit pushed in but the bracket that holds the bumper I can adjust it and bring it out a little bit but basically I just love the look of separate bumper and it's really hard to tell because it's such a like weird color uh, but if it's painted uh, any different color than clear <laughs> you can see it better but this side and this I see how it's bumpers pushed in so car is gonna look even wider but if there, if I bring this out it just just gonna look good so it's gonna look I'm so so excited how it's turning out so far so right now I'm gonna put a front bumper on here and start sending that getting ready for fiberglass uh, put the car in there get ready uh, body part of a car for the fiberglass and start sending away all right 
right so so far I sand those nice and smooth and then got ready these for fiberglass and as you saw just now I basically fiberglass this crack and I deleted the the hook thing uh, the toe thingy and I just decided I don't really need it and bumper is going to be quick release anyway so so if I ever need to ever use this I can just unclip the bumper quick and then uh, hook it up to there so right now uh, I'll wait until it dries and then what I'm gonna do probably fiberglass more on this side uh, get it nice and ready on this side too drilled a bunch of holes so fiberglass uh, sinks through it and you know sticks better than um, we would be just on plastic so that's ready and while it's drying I'm gonna start prepping this surface uh, for fiberglass this actually prepped but I need to do this surface and actually right now I actually need to go and uh, align my car I have an appointment coming up so that's gonna be next I'm just gonna go get in line quick and keep going so a couple hours later uh, this is how it looks on the outside and basically this glue uh, the resin went through the holes some more some less but basically this hole is gonna be deleted and this holds now nice and patched so now I'm gonna sand this a little bit and then put uh, more fiberglass over top of these and then send them all right guys so a little update I've been working off camera just a little bit I uh, made this bracket right here uh, that's my plan number two the plan number one is right there, right here I made this bracket basically it's gonna get bolted to here and basically sit like this it's gonna be nice and bolted and probably glued on the inside and then I'm gonna lay fiberglass to make a nice edge over top and maybe like fold it over in or something just come up with something to make it look pretty actually maybe I'll make the same thing here except you know longer and on both sides our bumper is getting nice and dry uh, now you see it's fiberglass now I need to sand over over, over top of those and I'll be ready and car is uh, same thing all nice and blocked off uh, thinking about making a metal bracket there too bolted it to bolting it to the body uh, and same here just playing around with different options and gonna see what works better So right here bolted and I'm gonna glue it just to show you how it's gonna look and you know fiberglass out of the top and then this little space right here uh, maybe I'll just uh, fiberglass it here too I don't know we'll see uh, I'm gonna see as I go what works better for me but pretty happy with it can't complain looks really nice so I uh, got up four more corners to go. All right, guys. So, so far, like I said, this one was done, and I finished this corner, uh, and this one, and then I still didn't do. Uh, the other one because it's still really flimsy and I need to add more fiberglass on the inside but besides the point I probably already said it like five times but yeah uh, look how nice it turned out and I basically left a slot like this for uh, this piece to go in so I can still bolt it bolt it there and have my uh, measurement right I uh, still need to make a slot right here but basically gonna clamp it like this together and then fiberglass it up top uh, drill my hole maybe uh, and then you know bolt it on together so so everything lines up uh, really really well so right now I uh, still have to uh, do a little bit of fixing right here 
uh, side skirt is cracked. So I'm just gonna fiberglass it and uh, reinforce it, make it nice and strong. Um, but yeah, so far it's turning out really well. Uh, that stuff took like three, four hours to do. So I did it off camera, it just it was a pain. But now it's done, uh, time to start fiberglassing. So that's gonna be next. Hi, right, what's going on guys? Uh, so it's been a while, it's been like three weeks. Uh, basically I've been busy with uh, my, my work and uh, this coronavirus thing kind of screws everything up, all my plans, but uh, I did got a chance to work on my car and then I finished up side skirts uh, and then some panels. Panel in the back, uh, basically in the rear corner uh, and then so basically right here, I finished up in there, nice and fiberglassed. So the only thing I need to finish fiberglassing, those corners on both sides. Uh, this corner is done. And then if you walk around, this corner is done. So I need to do this corner yet. And the rear of it is nice and done. Uh, this front one is done. Uh, and this piece is right here. It's getting dry so that thing is done too and yeah like I said the only thing I need to do is both of those front corners uh, it's been like what three weeks like I said and then I feel like I do want to post something and even though it's like not much not much done with my car but uh, just a little progress anyway and I um, uh, hope you guys enjoyed even though it's kind of you know repetitive and boring but this stuff needs to be done before before I go to paint and spend all this uh, work in priming it and painting it and then something goes wrong and if I don't like it like I don't want I don't want to just rush it. I want to take my time and actually finish it it's been like a month and a half and, and I still don't have my front wheels uh, the guy just keeps saying they're out of stock so I'll give him like one more week and if he doesn't send them I'm just gonna cancel it uh, and buy them somewhere else. But basically, this is going to be it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, please subscribe, like, and comment. And I'll see you in the next one.